to the horror of the horror with their hostess with the most incredible as always welcome back welcome back happy monday happy monday uh so we are doing a uh horror pack movie review from the july 2018 dvd pack um and that movie is if you can tell by the title of this movie is shadow people so yeah shadow people um uh gotta see uh right off the bat i wasn't really expecting a whole lot out of this movie i really wasn't i my expectations were like really really kind of low with this movie um and i actually popped it in i would say like maybe a week or so ago like right around when we had gotten uh or at least when i had gotten my uh dvd pack I just kind of wanted something to watch wasn't really feeling uh you know watching something specific threw this movie in and um i mean it's to be honest it's a decent little movie. It's nothing absolutely great. It's not horrible or anything. Uh, but movie starts off with, um, with the uh, with this young couple uh, played by Kat Stephans and uh, I almost said C. Thomas Hell, not C. Thomas Hell, Bug Hall. Um, so they're driving home in a, in the rain, like total pouring rain and everything. Probably shouldn't even be driving in this uh, to begin with, but whatever, you know, they're coming back from a little town fair and everything, they just moved to town, just got this nice house together and everything, uh, you know, being a young couple, and they're, you know, driving, they're talking, they're, you know, being all cute and everything, um, and, you know, this movie, like, eh, you know, uh, it kind of is sort of, like, very predictable in a lot of ways, um, case in point, kind of, like, while they're driving, the entire time, I kept thinking, like, okay, something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen, they're gonna crash, they're gonna crash, I've seen this a million times, and, of course, they have an accident where it's, like, it looks like a, like, a ghost or spirit kind of, like, appears in front of their car. Uh, they slam on the brakes, kind of, like, uh, skid off the road into sort of, like, a little field and stuff. They kind of see if each other's all right. They get out of the car, go see if, uh, they can find whatever it is that they hit or whatever or what they thought they hit. They're thinking it's, like, an animal or something. Of course, we know better. It's not an animal. It's none of that. Um, so they decide, okay, well, the car's not starting, we can either stay here in the car overnight till the rain stops and hopefully see if we can get someone to help us, um, or we can walk home, like, the four miles or whatever in the rain. So they're like, let's just walk home, let's walk home. Uh, so they get home and they're, you know, doing their little thing and everything, they're doing a little kissy-kissy, bang-bang, uh-huh, uh, you know, as young couples do. Uh, and then, you know, just kind of, like, stuff ensues, like, little, like, you know paranormal type stuff ensues and everything um so yeah yeah and here's the thing like the only time that anything sort of like paranormal happens is when um like the female is by herself so like you know the boyfriend goes to go get a towel or something or goes to get like an aspirin for his girlfriend's headache or something or whatever and um you know like something falls or she sees something or a ghost or something or this or that so it's like every like every time she's alone something happens and you think that after a while it's like she would just kind of follow her boyfriend around like I don't, like super glue yourself to him so you're never alone and this stuff wouldn't happen like i'm just saying i'm just saying um you know but it, here's the thing though it kind of is very sort of repetitive with this though because i feel like it's like every other scene um, you know, they find an opportunity to have the boyfriend go to the other room and, you know, like kind of rightfully so, like, obviously they're not going to be with each other every single second of the day, but it's like, geez, dude, like every other scene, it's so repetitive. It's very repetitive and it gets kind of annoying after a while. Cause it's just like, after a while, you're like, just end the movie. Like, I get it. I get it. She's alone. She's going to see something. Um, whatever, whatever. Um, I mean, it's a little predictable like that, but whatever. Even the ending's a bit predictable, which I will get to in a little bit. So yes, there's going to be spoilers here and everything. So if you don't want to hear spoilers, if you haven't seen this, you really are dying to know, not know what happens to this and you want to see it for yourself, turn me off now. Um, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's kind of repetitive like that. Um. You know, I feel like this was sort of, um, like, the uh, answer to people who kind of gr 
trip on movies that don't uh, have a whole lot of action in it. A uh, perfect example, like paranormal, paranormal activity, uh, you know, where it's like nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. Like nothing happens for 20, 25 minutes and then boom, a little pot swings back and forth or something. And then nothing else happens for another 20, 25 minutes. You know, something else happens. So it's like, I feel like they were kind of like, okay, well, people always want something to happen. So let's just have it happen every other scene. Like, I don't mind that if you're adding a little extra stuff, but it's like every other scene's just a little too much. Uh, especially for a movie like this, where it's like a ghost story, a ghost type of story. Uh, you don't necessarily need something every single scene or every other scene and you certainly don't need it to be like every 30 scenes but like maybe every like six to eight scenes I would say have maybe something have a little bit of a payoff because then you just like I said because then you just kind of get like bored with it uh, one way or another but whatever, whatever. You know, I'm not going to totally gripe about it. It didn't totally ruin the movie. Like I said, it's just a little annoying after a while. Um, but yeah, whatever. Um, and uh, like the ending, uh, like I was kind of mentioning a minute ago, very kind of uh, predictable. Uh, you kind of realize that uh, they didn't make it uh, per se th uh, through the uh, car accident um, because... Uh, at the end, we've come to find out that both of them uh, pretty much are, like, have died or are dying. Like, the boyfriend is obviously very much dead. The girlfriend, um, we can tell, uh, the, and the reason why she's been having these sort of, like, visions and everything of, like, spirits, what we thought were spirits, um, is because she's, like, they're both laying there in the street, paramedics and police are, like, attending to them and everything, and, like, the spirits that she's been seeing are actually the people, you know, like, the rescuers who are, you know, trying to save them, trying to save her and her boyfriend. So you're like, oh, no wonder, you know? So, I mean, that was a little creative. I kind of liked that angle a little bit. You know, I thought it was, you know, I, I know I've, we've seen that done probably a few times before. I, but I kind of liked it, that it was a little bit reverse where it's like, Oh, the spirits are actually like, you know, uh, like I know the others is kind of similar like that where it's like the spirits were actually the, uh, the actual living beings and everything. And it's the ghosts kind of thinking that they're haunted. They're being haunted by the human world. Um, so obviously, you know, the girl, you know, the reason why she's seeing them is because she hasn't fully crossed over yet. She hasn't fully like died yet. She's still like somewhat like conscious there's some uh brain activity still obviously um so yeah you know so we we're kind of like oh man that's why she's been seeing it that's why the boyfriend's kind of like ah. um and i know like even though like before we uh get to that like she's she gets to a point where she's like totally broke she's like i need to leave this house i need to leave i need to leave so you know her and her boyfriend are trying to like leave and that's the other thing it's been like raining and raining and raining for like days on end and everything it's like geez will this ever end and that's another reason why you're kind of like okay it's kind of obvious like something's going on here they're probably dead or something or something or this is like they are dead and this is like their own personal hell or something um so it's like always raining and they're trying to like get over this like uh gushing like river of water that's like in the front yard and he's like I we can't make it we can't make it so obviously they're kind of stuck there uh for all of eternity um kind of like Beetlejuice now that I'm thinking about it a little bit without the sandworms um but yeah so little things like that that uh you know you kind of put things together and everything uh, but like I said, I mean, it's, it's, it was an okay movie. Uh, it was, it was just something for me to watch one night when I couldn't decide. I wasn't really feeling anything in particular to watch. So, I mean, it's, it's an alright movie. It's one of those, I'm not gonna be, like, overly watching all the time. But, I mean, I might pop it in once in a great while when, you know, once again, I'm kind of like, I don't know what to watch. I'll watch this movie. Whatever. I mean, it's not so bad. I didn't hate it so much where 
I'm not going to watch it again, so I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this movie down in the comments. Uh, if you guys liked it, hated it, uh, if, you could, if there were maybe a little snippets of it that you really liked or hated, let me know. But until next time, you guys, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.